Hi, Bill Kim here. I pastor the Clarion United Presbyterian Church and the Clarion United Church of Christ Congregational. We've been doing a, a few two or three minute videos where we'll talk about the sermon topic for the week. And this week we talked about the peace of God and in trying to get a point across, we use an illustration that we've seen on Facebook or other social media. And in that illustration, this would be your life. In that illustration, uh, golf balls would serve as the big things in your life. And I think he used pebbles, but we'll use marbles. Marbles would serve as the smaller things, important but not the biggest things in your life. In our sermon on Sunday, we talked about how the golf balls, we thought, um, should stand for uh, God and our relationship with other human beings. Believing that Jesus taught the two greatest commandments were to love God and to love your fellow man. We thought those should be given priority in our lives and they should be the biggest things in our lives. In our discussion on Sunday, we talked about the marble, the uh, smaller piece, being the car, the job, the home, some very important pieces in our lives, but not eternally um, life-altering. And how our lives get filled up with hopefully the biggest things and also some of the smaller, <laughs> smaller but not life-altering eternal things. But there's more, still space left. And so we have room for things like uh, the ball game, or uh, the new motorcycle, or the new pair of shoes, or the new furniture, whatever. Smaller things in life that uh, fill our lives up and pretty soon um, we are overflowing. Our idea with the sermon was just to emphasize that these bigger things need to go in first. Whatever these smaller things are in life, um, if they're all in first, if they're the priority for me, if they're the most important thing, then I don't have room um, even for the car or the job. But even there, even with those things, the most important would be God and my relationship with fellow human beings. If we give those things priority, if we make those things first in our lives, then we experience the peace of God. We experience the strength of God. We experience the presence of God more in our lives every day. This week, our call is to give the most important things priority. Let them fill up space first. Let them be at the top of the list. And in that way, we think we will experience even more fully the peace and strength of God's presence. Amen.